Hey everyone, welcome to the patch preview. It's been a busy patch for us here at Riot, so Tamit and Morello can't make it out this time. But I wanted to give you all a taste of what's in store. First up, we've completed the Alistair remake. We're updating his headbutt and pulverize to have level up incentives other than just damage. Also, he had a lot of problems farming, and was a little too reliant on Flash and Ghost to get anything done, so we're fixing those issues too. We're increasing his base movement speed and mana in exchange for a little bit of health and attack damage. He also has a new passive, Trample. Every time he casts an ability, he starts trampling for a few seconds. While trampling, he walks through units and deals damage every second to nearby enemies. Headbutt and Pulverize now scale their cooldowns on level up. Pulverize specifically has its stun shortened by a half second, but the spell's radius is increased to compensate. Meanwhile, Headbutt can now target minions as well as champions. Ultimately, Alistair can farm and gank a little bit better, but doesn't lock up entire teams for quite as long. Fiddlesticks is also receiving some pretty big changes. He was too dependent on lucky Dark Wind bounces and Drain, so we're moving around some of his power to make him a little bit more consistent. First, his armor, movement speed, and Terrify's cast range are all increasing. For Drain, the amount of healing he receives at early levels is going down, so players can actually harass him in lane, but with the armor buff, his jungle should still be fine. Dark Wind is getting a more significant tweak. Now it bounces 5 times at all levels, but the damage and cooldown scale with level. Additionally, the silence duration and AP ratio are going up. Crowstorm's base damage is going down by 25 at all ranks, but gets an increased AP ratio, and now the cooldown gets better with level. Gangplank has a big facelift in store as well. We have a few different goals here. First, we wanted to completely remove the deny mechanic from raise morale, so it no longer targets a minion at all. To compensate, the raise morale buff itself is a lot stronger. Second, parlay wasn't enough of a consistent damage tool and too much of a burst nuke, so the cooldown and base damage are lower, with the mana cost and bonus gold on kill modified to compensate. Cannon Barrage was the last pain point, where the ability was either a huge success or a total flop. The area where cannonballs can fall is smaller, and the entire zone slows now, regardless of whether or not enemies get hit. To compensate for this increased consistency, the slow and damage are going down a little bit. It's now really good at blowing up enemies when your teammates can keep them in place for part of the duration. We made a few changes to Sin Zhao as well. Ultimately, he was a bit too good of a duelist, but died too quickly in teamfights, so we made the armor and magic resist buff on his ultimate scale with the number of enemy champions hit. This should give single opponents the ability to fight him, while keeping him from melting in late game teamfights. We also buffed up his base damage and the attack speed on Battlecry, plus making the passive component stay active while on cooldown, so that he can jungle a bit faster as well. Hopefully, these changes should make him more consistent throughout the game. Thanks for watching this episode of the Patch Preview. Subscribe to the Riot Games YouTube channel up top, and we'll see you next patch.